Hello everyone, my name is Itamar Ben David, I'm a tour guide here in Jerusalem and maybe some of you already know, I also guide virtually and on this video I want to teach you how to upload a photosphere to Google Maps and Google Earth. This is something very useful in the virtual tourism world. So let's take a look at uh, how you do that. So for that I prepared a little video on my phone which shows you uh, the screen itself. So this is my Street View app and next to it you can see the Google Earth app. Okay, we're going to use these two. Let's take a look. Clicking on Google Street and in the lower part you can see a camera with a plus. I want to upload a photosphere, a creative photosphere and this is it. So now I'm taking a photosphere. I'm staying in the same place, just moving around and follow this nice yellow uh, circle uh, that shows me exactly where to put my camera, where to place my camera. So I'm just moving uh, a little bit at the time uh, with my hands and a little bit with my feet and make sure that I don't move, don't take like a dramatic move, a step. Otherwise, uh, the picture will be distorted and uh, won't, get, won't give you a good result, let's say. So we're already halfway through. We're almost done with the uh, with the sky. A few more pictures, and we have the even the clouds of that day. Really pretty. Okay, one more. Okay, perfect. Now let's go to the floor, and we want to have the floor covered as well. So once again, you have to stand in the same place. Hold the camera close to your face. So it will be more stable, you won't shake too much, okay? Just rotate, just move slowly and take all these pictures. Just follow the yellow circle. Almost done. As you can see, you have this a yellow check. It's going to turn green once the picture is ready. Just need to take a picture of my feet. Here we are. See, it turned from yellow to green. Now you press the green check. You're waiting for the um, for the picture to be ready, you select it, you select it, and you are going to publish it. Publish to Google Maps. You see that in the lower part? Publish to Google Maps, takes a few seconds, and photo is published. Perfect. Now let's go to Google Maps and later to Google Earth, just to make sure that it's actually work. So this is the location where I was the kibbutz of Tsuba in the Judean hills. Here I am, is where I took this picture. And now we can open Google Earth. And let's see how it looks like over there. So I'm on the search search uh, I, engine, I'm checking where Tsuba is. Tsuba is the name of the kibbutz. And here I am, flying over Tsuba. Once you are in Google Earth, you have the little man on the right side. You're going to see it in just a second. Here it is, just in the middle and lower part. Once you click that, you see all the photospheres of other people. This is all these blue, little blue dots. All these blue dots, these are pictures of people that uploaded their photospheres. And I was looking for my photosphere. Okay, so it took me a few seconds next to the secretariat I found my photos here so if we'll look carefully here I just tapped tapped my screen and here we are see hey I just took this picture like five seconds ago and it's already there beautiful so this is a nice part of the virtual tourism. You can actually upload your photospheres and keep copyrights and uh, you know take pictures of locations that maybe Google Earth missed and make this world much more accessible for all. So I hope you find this video um, helpful and uh, I hope you will guide a lot on the virtual space. And if you're a traveler, if you're a tourist, maybe these photospheres will help you navigate your way through Israel and other destinations. And until the next time, all the best. Bye.